Hello everyone and welcome back to rubberstamps.com. Today we are doing a really fun craft with our brand new stamp set from Parakid. This is a collaboration that we did with her and we are going to be using these stamps to create stickers today. These are really perfect for adding stickers to the backs of your envelopes or boxes that you might be sending out. Just a way to add a little bit more personality to your mail. But before we get started, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to see more content like this. So before we dive into creating this craft, I want to go over a few things to keep in mind when you're selecting your supplies. The first thing is this sticker paper that I got from Cricut. This is the Cricut Smart Label Permanent Sticker Paper. I chose this because you can actually take this stick it right into your Cricut and then use the Cricut files that we have for free on our website and the Cricut will do all the work for you cutting out the outlines of all of these stamps. Another option if you don't have a Cricut is to stamp these onto the sticker paper and then cut them out afterwards. That is another possibility if you don't have a Cricut, no problem. So the next thing I want to go over is the type of ink that you want to use when creating your stamps on these sticker papers because this, as you can see, is a shiny paper. It's not the same texture as a normal paper. So if you were to use something like pigment ink on this sticker paper, it's not going to soak in, it's just gonna smudge on the paper because it's glossy and a non-porous material. Regular paper is porous, so the pigment ink is able to soak into that and that's how it stays in place. Because this is not porous, you're going to want to use something like archival ink, which is waterproof. It's not a water-based ink, like the pigment ink, so this will not smudge when you use it on the sticker paper. So make sure you're using a non-water-based ink for your sticker paper. The next thing is markers. If you're using something like this mild liner, or even this doodler, marker. These are water-based markers. So again, when you put them on this paper, they're going to smudge. What you want to stick with is something like these Ohuhu alcohol-based markers. You can find alcohol-based markers in a lot of different brands. Ohuhu is what we have. Another example would be Prismacolor. Just look around online or in your craft supplies and see if you can find alcohol-based markers so that there's no smudging. You also could use something like these acrylic markers. They're acrylic markers just like the paint, so those will not smudge as well. So today, I think I'm just gonna keep it simple and stamp onto the paper and then cut it out afterwards, just for those who don't have Cricuts, so you can see how that process would look. In the future, I'm definitely gonna use this paper with my Cricut machine to do the cutouts first, because I do think that makes the process a little bit quicker, but for today, we're gonna stamp, color, and then cut. So this is a very easy and straightforward craft. I probably will not talk too much throughout this next process, but that's where we're headed. We're gonna stamp, color, and cut. All right, so I'm going to redo that one because I didn't put enough pressure on this part of the stamp, so no problem, we'll just redo that one really quick. All right, and here are some of the stamps that I colored in to make the stickers. I think they're super cute. What you can do with these is take an envelope or even a little gift box. So let's say you wanted to put a sticker on your gift. You would just peel this, peel this off. All right, so you just take your sticker, peel it off the backing. And then I think this is a super fun idea if you have like a little 
gift box or something that you want to give someone, you can actually use the sticker to seal the edge. That is so cute. And just adds a little bit of personalization to the little gift box. Or you could take your envelope, again, remove this, and you could use this to help seal the envelope. That's so cute. You could add some more stickers all around the envelope too. Go a little crazy, that could be fun. So yeah, really, you have a lot of options. You can use these to make your gift packaging really cute, add a little personality to your envelopes before you mail them. I think that the sticker idea is just a super fun way to use the stamps in a different way. All right, and here are the final results now that I've finished putting all my stickers on some pieces of mail. Again, I just think this is such a fun way to add some personality to your crafts and an awesome way to use the sticker material for your stamps. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to see more content like this. We will see you next time. <laughs>